This is the best way to make a RAG agent in N8N. And for this example, we are going to build a customer support agent who will retrieve business information that it needs to make a if informed uh, answer to the customer who sends a message. As you can see here, we now sent what is the cheapest car wash available. And it answered the cheapest car wash available, available at Rapid Glow Auto Detailing is the Express Wash. Uh, which is priced at $25. As you can see, it used this Google Sheet right here to get the information from Rapid Glow Auto Detailing. It is $25 for the Express Wash, Express Wash. And it also uses Postgres chat memory, as you can see right here, which makes the solution so much more scalable. And it also is able to remember really long conversations with the customers. So now I'm going to show you how we can set up this RAG agent in just a couple of minutes. So the first thing we need to do is we need to start off with a chat message node here. And we are going to connect that to an AI agent node. And in here, I'm just telling it you are a customer support chatbot who, is, who retrieves the information available to you to answer any questions the customer has about the business. And we are connecting that AI agent to the OpenAI chat model. We're using GPT-40 mini for testing, but you obviously want to use a more powerful AI for production. And then we want to add the Postgres chat memory. And you actually need to create a new uh, connection here to your Postgres account. And what you need to do to do that is you need to make yourself a Superbase account. This is a really nice platform, uh, database platform that you can use for free, uh, even though you have like a lot of data in there. So if we go back to the NSN workflow here, as you can see, we need the host database user password. This is the database password you set when you create a new database in Superbase and the port. So when we go back to Superbase, we need to be inside of our uh, database. And as you can see here, we are inside NSN RAG and you just need your database password, which you have yourself. And you just need to go over to project settings and inside project, project settings, you need to go to database. In here, you can just click on connect because here are the data we need. So you just need to scroll down to the transaction pooler and we need to view those parameters. Inside here, you have all the different things you need to connect to your Postgres account, port, host, port, database, user, uh, pool mode is not something you need, but uh, that is what you're going to use. Copy that, paste it in here, as well as the password, as I said, and you will just click on save and you have set up your Postgres account. And uh, then you can just name this table, whatever you like, because we are not going to create a table uh, with some code that, code that we're just going to paste in. You don't need to know how to code, but we're just going to paste in some SQL code inside of Superbase. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a tool called in-memory vector store. So you can see it right here. You can add that tool and you will get this pop-up when you add that tool. We just need to say whatever you would like to call the data name and the uh, description of that data. So the AI knows what it is uh, looking at when it retrieves data from this database. And then what you need to do is you need to add a Superbase as your vector store. And in here, we need to, again, create a new credential for Superbase. So you, you can just click on create new credential. And in here, you need the service role secret and the host. So we can go back to NSN. And inside here, we just need to get out of this and go over to data API. In here, as you can see, you have the URL and also the service role. So go in, go ahead and reveal that, copy that, and also copy the URL, go back to NSN and just paste that in here. Click on save and now you are connected to your Superbase account. We need to use the retrieve documents as vector store for chain tool. And now what you can do is you can use the from list in here. But when you look at this, you won't have any documents in here because you haven't actually made a table. So we need to just go over to the docs right here, click on docs. And in here, you just need to scroll down to the quick start for setting up your vector store and you will get to this page right here where you can just copy this SQL. Once you've done that, you can come back over to your Superbase. And in here, we just want to go to the SQL editor. And in here, you need to just paste in all of that code like this, and then click on run. Once you've done that, you can actually come over to the table editor to see that you ha now have a new table, which is super nice. So once you've done that, you can go back over to your edit and scenario, and you will find your uh, table right here, which you can just click on that table. And once you've done that, we want to use the query name match documents. And we also want to use the uh, embeddings OpenAI. Uh, as you can see here, we have the text embeddings three small. And also for the model for retrieve documents or uh, the vector store, we, we you use GPT-40 mini again. 
So now we're able to communicate with the database and retrieve the documents, but we actually want a method to be able to populate that database with the data we would want to use. So to do that, we just set up a little uh, workflow right here. As you can see, we just have a one clicking test workflow node or trigger node, and we use Google Drive node right here, and you need to connect to your Google Drive accounts. And in here, we want to find the file and you'll just find the use the download and you need to find the file in here. Just click on this drop down and you'll find your fi the file you want to uh, populate your database with. So in here, this can be whatever you would want. So this can be Google Docs, for example. And for the next node, we are going to use the add data to Superbase. As you can see here, Superbase vector store. And then you want to use the add documents to vector store. And then you will get this pop-up right here where you need to, again, connect to your Superbase account, which you connected to earlier and also use the insert documents as the operation mode. And we also want to find the table that you created earlier with the SQL. And again, we want to use match documents as the query name. And in here, we are going to use the, once again, use the OpenAI's text embedding three small, and also going to use the default data loader in here. And we're going to use binary for the type of data. And the mode is going to be set to load all input data. And for the data format, just set it to automatically detect by MIME type, because as you can see, when we run this node right here, we actually get the MIME type. When we look back at this node, you can see here is this the MIME type, and we just want it to automatically detect that. And then we want to use the character text splitter right here and just set that to chunk size of 1,000, and that should be all good. So now you can run this, uh, run this workflow here, but just by clicking test workflow, and you will then have some data in your basically populated into your database. You can use whatever you want. I just used some random chat GPT generated uh, fake business information right here, which we are going to use to basically get some information about their services. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually test this workflow out by chatting with it. So I'm going to ask it, so I'm just going to ask it, what is the cheapest car wash you have available? And then we'll see what we get as response. As you can see, it now retrieves the document and gives us a response back, which is going to be the cheapest car wash available at Rapid Bow Auto Detailing is the Express Wash, Express wash which costs $25. Super nice. So that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to subscribe. And if you want to do work with me, the link for that is in the description. And I'll see you in the next one.